Hey, welcome to part two of the Atari Guys special 30th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back Star Wars games. Well, we played Star Wars, or at least we tried to, and we played the Empire Strikes Back, which I still think is the best of them all. Not just the movie, the game as well. So now it's time to take a look at one more game here, Return of the Jedi for the 2600. I'd like to tell you, though, that I wish I had more of these games. I know there were other games like Jedi Arena, but you got to keep in mind, if I don't have the game, I can't review it. So, let's take a look at this one more game here, shall we? Wow. What do you think of the graphics, huh? And the sound effects? Just awesome. Well, here we go. Basically, you play as Lando Calrissian, piloting the Millennium Falcon, shooting at all these TIE Fighters and Star Destroyers. While listening to those cool sound effects. Also, you've got to watch out for these shuttles here because they can't be destroyed. And also, they can really hit you back, too. And also, the Death Star's... the Death Star's weapon systems are operational here, too. So you gotta watch out for that as well. Yeah. So watch out for the Death Star's laser cannon, because it's operational. Oh, fuck! Maybe that wasn't a good time to demonstrate. Yeah. I should also mention that when there, when these holes appear on the screen, uh, you know, in the shield generator that's protecting the Death Star, when the holes appear, then it's okay to fly through them. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, here we go. So I fly through the hole in the shield generator. And now I make a clean swipe at the Death Star. Shit. Oh, shit! I wasn't even directly in the path of the laser cannon, was I? Yeah, but you gotta watch out for that laser cannon, because it keeps moving from side to side. I mean, luckily the TIE Fighters and the Star Destroyers can't do jack shit to you. But, those shuttles, however... Fuck! really sucks. I wasn't anywhere near that fucking laser cannon. Death Star. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again, Jesus. Well, I do have to say, in this game's feeble defense, Unlike Empire, at least my thumb doesn't get tired constantly tapping the button. Alright, get through the shield generator. funny. When I first saw this movie, I was seven years old, and I always thought that the new Death Star was actually the remains of the first Death Star. I mean, because it just looked incomplete to me. 
like, Jesus, did the emperor make this thing half-assed or something? I mean, who was the empire's building contractor on the Death Star 2? And, and also, why did it take four years to build that one, when in the prequels it took 19 years to build the first one? I guess that's just one of those things we'll never understand. Not even us hardcore fans. Yeah. I'm gonna get it this time. Fuck! Shit! Shit. Whoa. Watch out! Got lucky there. Balls! Damn! Fuck! I really don't know what else to say about this game. I mean, the movie was awesome. But this video game just sucks. This video game really sucks. I mean, hold on a minute. Well, anyway, there it is. Return of the Jedi on the Atari 2600. It's kind of a fun game to play. I mean, the sound effects are really cool. The, the, the graphics are great. I mean, there's really nothing to complain about. Except for the gameplay, which is just horrendous. And then, of course, we have Star Wars on the 5200, which could have had all the potential in the world to be a great first-person shooter game, but unfortunately sank in an inescapable quicksand of shitty joystick controllers that don't even fucking work right. <clears throat> However, there is a happy note on which we can end this two-part review. In a sea of terrible Star Wars games, not just for Atari, but for any game system, this one is still a lot of fun to play, and it still stands out. If you can somehow get your hands on a copy of this, I'd check it out. I mean, this game is awesome, and if you don't mind, I think I'm going to play it again. So anyway, happy 30th. Return a happy 30th to the Empire Strikes Back. May the Force be with you and all that other good shit. And there ain't no midichlorians either.